Hello Huskies and welcome to week three of distance learning with love. Um, we are going to actually build off of what we worked on last week. So thank you to those of you who've already finished their interviews. You asked really good questions and had wonderful conversations with people I've never met, but it doesn't matter because I was super engaged and intrigued to hear their stories. Stories are the things that connect all of us and right now. Um, what better time to be telling our stories when we are living um, in history. So really wonderful job. Again, thank you. If you haven't done it, please do so because this week is all about turning those raw interviews into something a little bit more presentable. Um, we're going to be changing them into digital stories by using the bits, um, sound bites, and parts and clips of them um, and pairing them with, you know, little bits of technology too, to make it a little bit more uh, interesting for everybody to watch. And hopefully next week, the idea is that I will be able to put all of these together on a Padlet and share them with you so that we can have all of our voices humming along together. So I have it broken down on the Google Doc once again for you to kind of look at how you should maybe set up your week. Um, what I'd like for you to do first is listen to your interview, especially if you haven't yet. Um, sit down and think about the parts that really make you smile, um, the highlights, the things that you think other people will be interesting, interested in hearing, um, you know, those kind of universal themes that, that connect us all. Uh, all of them had bits of that within that I've listened to that you've turned in so far. So go back, listen, note the areas um, that you really want to kind of keep for your digital story. And then you're going to use a really easy tool called mp3cut.net in order to trim your audio. So I'm going to show you how to use that tool actually right now. Um, <clears throat> it's on Google Classroom. So basically uh, everybody that used Vocaroo last week, I can help because that's the tool I know really well. Um, if you recorded it with some other kind of file, this should probably still work, but I am going to show you how to use it with Vocaroo. So if you have your link still, or um, if you simply went ahead and downloaded also, uh, you can pull it back up. And if you didn't already, click the download button. This is the interview that I did with my sister last week. So I click download, and then I go back to my little mp3 cut deal and it says you can actually just drag it and drop it here so i'm going to show you how to do that it shows up right down here at the bottom of my laptop um, if it doesn't show up there on your chromebooks you can always go to choose file and then go into your downloads folder and it should be there um, if you have to drag it into your google google drive folder you can do that easily as well but i'm just going to drag this puppy here drop her in and then it shows the entire interview from start to finish, right? Remember that from last week? So in order to use this tool, if I'm really wanting to look for, um, and your digital story should be, you know, just about a couple, two, three minutes or so, um, and most of your interviews were about 15 minutes, so you wanna look for bits and pieces that are gonna make up um, a couple minutes worth of, of hearing what your people had to say. So you just drag these little bars here. Um, I had a really good spot when I was practicing this, 50-ish, okay. And then um, let's say you just want this one little, this one little snippet here, okay? You can tell how long it is up there at the top. It's going to be 53 seconds, actually, just this one little bit. And then when you hit play again, it's going to start from where it is that you want to actually take your clip. So let's try it. Okay, no, it didn't. There we go. Oh, it's not even, <laughs> it's not 56 seconds. I can't, I can't read this thing. There we go. That's about a minute and, and nine seconds. Let's listen to it from the beginning here. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you get the point. Get the clip that you want. Um, it helps if you actually include your question, um, or if you want, you can actually make that part of your digital story, which you'll see examples of students doing that. But once you have it, you click cut, and it will either save it as, actually it'll save it as any of these things. And really it kind of depends on um, what you're going to use to make your, your, uh, your digital story as to how you want to save it. But I'm pretty sure mp3 is going to work just fine, maybe a WAV file, I don't know, but uh, uh, hit cut, 
and then um, save. It will download that one little clip again for you uh, to your downloads on your Chromebook. And then that is, is your audio. That's what you're going to ultimately drop into your digital story so that we can hear little bits and pieces of um, the interview that you conducted with someone. Okay, so that's just how you use that tool. Um, let's go back to our Google Doc here. Uh, the next thing that I want you to do is really watch interviews um, by students that have already made digital digital stories. We did this last year. So let me show you where those examples live. It's gonna be on Google Classroom here. There are a whole bunch of different examples for you here. And I want you to note as you're, as you're watching um, these, the different tools that they use. So some people use like Whiteboard Explainer, Animatron, Biteable, a um, bunch of different things here. This, there's just, this is the, the simplest version is just doing it on Google Slides and having a picture of the person that you took this interview with and then putting your audio on there. If you cannot figure this digital stuff out, I don't blame you, I'm not there to help, um, but you're also way techier than me, so let's be for real. Anyway, here's a whole, whole bunch for you to listen to and use um, as examples for guidance. So again, though, you do want to include, um, you know, visuals, pictures, if you have them, um, have your person send you some snapshots or something to help make this cooler. And you might even want to add your own uh, sort of commentary, you know, to introduce the clips that we're going to be hearing. I think um, this very first one does a really good job of that. Let me just open it up real quick and see. I think she used Powtoon. Yeah, I can see it down here. Powtoon to create it. Oh, so she tells us who she interviewed and why, which is really helpful. That's just her kind of speaking directly uh, into the video. And then um, we get to see pictures throughout. It's just really cute. Again, you guys, you got to watch it. It's really darling. And then we actually get to hear her part of her interview in here. So anyway, I'll let you watch it. A um, whole bunch of other examples here as well. And they use, a, you know, different combinations of tools. Um, whatever works best for you. Play around. Be creative. But basically, you want to, you know, have a, a production, a little piece that, that uh, we can share with each other to just kind of lift each other up and share our voices in the community. This is where um, your project will actually live. I want you to upload your slideshow or your digital story if you make one of those here. If you can turn it into a link, like if you can actually figure out a way to upload it to YouTube or something and share the link with me instead of a big old file, that would be really helpful because again, I wanna be able to, to add these to a Padlet next week and a file is, is way too big. So a link would be more helpful if it can live in a cloud. But uh, basically that's it. Look at me, it's just a short video this week. You're turning your interview, the parts of it that you really enjoy, into a digital story for us so that we can see, um, you know, put a, put a voice with a face, if you will. And um, again, it's just kind of making your own little production to help us, you know, hear all these different multicultural voices in the community. So as far as the timeline goes, though, I guess I left off with watching interviews. So you can figure out the do's and don'ts, play with different, different digital story examples, don't pay for anything. Everything should have a free trial if you've never used it um, or a free version with a watermark, which I'm totally fine with. I do wanna mention, I forgot up here where it says you gotta do one clip at a time. So if there are different parts of the interview you wanna to listen to, you go to MP3 cut, you clip the part you want, you save that clip, and then you upload the whole thing again and clip a different portion. Here are some of the tools that my students have used in the past that are listed. Um, begin putting your digital story together really by Tuesday because it's gonna take you a while to mess with all of this. Finalize your digital story um, by the end of the week and then it's actually due on Friday. Uh, as usual, let me know if you have any questions, if you run into issues, it's gonna be hard for me. Um, I don't even know how to use all of these. I just wanted to let you guys know what some of my students have done in the past. But it is totally okay. Um, look at the one, the Google slide that said that says we met at work to do the most simplistic version. And that's, you know, a good example of a simple piece. But if you want to get a little bit more creative and fancy, 
I'm over here, you know, waiting and excited to see what you come up with. So please be adventurous and um, make a really cool video so that we can have it for all of history and humanity and all that jazz. Um, so I hope you're having a good week. Sorry about the announcement that we won't be coming back, but I'm still very much here for you. Email, um, hangouts, whatever, you know, you need to, to get a hold of me, if, especially if you have any questions, um, I can help you with those. So yeah, have a really great week three, and uh, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Talk to you later. Bye. I feel like I'm on my phone. Okay, bye. End.